All right, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy Spider Man Miles Morales back with another reaction video. And today we're reacting to Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga, another, you know, in depth video. So let's get into this. If you're new, hit the subscribe button, turn on notifications so you know when I upload a new video or stream. And let's go, y'all. We on half? Ray? Been a massive fan of Lego and Star Wars since I was very young. There's lightsabers, there's weird aliens. It was just a privilege to be able to work on the game. Yes, we get that. We get it. Confirmed. Spans all generations. Han Solo. Behind the scenes. As soon as we started talking about doing a new Lego Star Wars game, the ambition swelled because as fans we love all the movies and to have the opportunity to tell the whole saga from episode one all the way through to episode i'm hype we knew we i'm hyped for this fight yo further than we've ever been we started off by having regular meetings with lego and lucasfilm discussing just everything that y'all saw that little um uh, if y'all look at the bottom y'all see they got the scene where they're um all walking down the aisle they gave and us stuff. access to all of their libraries, which was the greatest thing to be able to dig into. So we cannot see a sport of hope, but yes. The storytelling throughout LEGO Star Wars is incredible and filled with jokes and funny moments. Because in a LEGO game, we have freedom. You can use the humor and we can spin it. So Han Solo is still being Han Solo, but he might have a banana instead of a blaster or something. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> we knew we needed to. My boy, very like, I am yeah, sick of your. Yeah, something that felt familiar but reinvented. The systems, the frameworks we put in place to enable us to do that. I'll see you with the Millennium all Falcon. Different gameplay mechanics and all the different systems that make up that game. Real time processing on the voices. So when you pick up a helmet and you put it on, your voice changes to sound like you're a stormtrooper. Real. That is so cool. We're putting a lot of emphasis on, on the lighting and the environments. We have something like 12,000 materials that were generated for the game. 20, oh, look at how gorgeous this is, though, y'all. If you're a fan of Lego Company's work, you'll be amazed at the resolution and the amazing work that the models team have done. We get to recreate all of these iconic designs literally brick by brick. We built the ships entirely out of Lego bricks. So that's not just the exterior of the ship. That's Episode the three. So you can land inside these ships and walk around in an environment entirely made out of Lego bricks. If you were to build one of our capsule ships in real life, it would take millions and millions of bricks. We've designed some of the characters that don't exist as physical models. What we would do is we'd look at the film record. Oh my God. And we'd take existing Lego creatures and characters that are similar. And then what we end up with is something that is as accurate as we could make it. Take the Banff, for example. So it's just really true to Lego IP and it's really true to the film IP. R2. We wanted an evolution, I suppose. So what we've done is try to keep what's familiar, but really add something a bit more modern in, a bit more fresher. One of the things we've done in this game is we've gone for a third person camera. With a blaster combat in the game. I'm actually happy we get to explore that planet in episode one. Because I've been one to explore that from the longest perspective. And it just really makes you feel like more in the action, which is pretty great. Using the force is a huge part of the game. The Jedi, the, the Sith, they all have this force power where they can literally roger, roger. take objects off the floor and fling them about. We really took advantage of that force power that we haven't done in previous games. We yes. We fly into space and there's like just interactions that will happen. Giant ships like a star destroyer coming in. You can try and fight it and you go defeat it and you can capture it and take it over. I think when we're making these games, we think about the fans a lot. So there's a few Easter eggs in this game, some stuff that we're really excited to get in. You can switch all the weapons so that it's mouth noises. So you'd be like, <laughs> <laughs> That is cool. And of course, uh, you might have a little thing called mumble mode. So mumble mode is basically how the old Star Wars games were. We had to rely on animation, expression, mm. and these sort of yep. mumbles that mimicked 
the speech. He goes, Yes, we get to go, bro. We are fighting Anakin on Mustafar, which I am just hyped for. They bought the Clone Wars things back, like. Whatever character you want, and really being in Star Wars. And I can't wait for players to see the hard work. It's been a really ambitious project. What they've achieved, they should be rightfully proud of. Lego Star Wars: The Skywalker Saga. April fifth, twenty twenty-two. You don't know the power of the dark side. Play it on Xbox Series X and S. Okay, I just want to let y'all know, though, this is also for PS5, PS4, but, man, I am so hyped for this because there is so much in this game that I just want to witness, and I'm glad we're getting the Mace Windu fight because I never thought I'd see the day where we actually get that, so I can't wait to witness that. But if you enjoyed this reaction video, guys, Hit the like button, hit subscribe, turn on notification bell so you know when I upload and stream. Um, I might even do a stream today, actually. We might go through Jedi Fallen Order, or maybe even Telltale's Back to the Future. But, in the meanwhile, I love you guys. Peace. This is going to be crazy.